Chris Watts, who reported his wife Shanann and his daughters Bella and Celeste missing, is now being charged with their murders. This is the most inhumane, vicious crime that I have handled. Months after claiming that he was innocent, he finds himself in prison. Take this defendant into custody and have him serve the rest of his life in the Department of Corrections. He will never come out of prison alive. Even though Chris pled guilty to all charges, he never officially confessed to killing his children. And it haunted the investigators that they never knew what happened. If you're not being truthful about who took their lives, the we thought we would never hear from him again, but it was actually only just beginning. This is my flesh and blood. This is like what I wanted all my life. Chris Watts reveals the gruesome details of the murders of his wife and daughters. The convicted killer speaks with investigators from inside his Wisconsin prison cell. After being sentenced, Chris was taken to prison to Wapin, Wisconsin, where he's now at the Dodge Correctional Facility. Investigators from Frederick Police Department and CBI flew to Wisconsin and tried to extract another confession from him. Talk about that night. That's what happened. Was, you know, me and Jeanette, she got home like at two o'clock. I felt her getting the bed, and I kind of feel her kind of stirring around a little bit. And, uh, she, I, I just had a feeling that she knew like what was going on. I don't even want to say it, felt like I had to. It just felt like there was already something in my mind that I wasn't planning that I was going to do it. And I woke up that morning, it was going to happen, and I had no control of it. I woke her up, and it's like, hey, we just got just to gotta talk. Okay. I just like told her, I don't feel compatible. I don't feel like this is gonna work. Chris wants to tell her he wants a divorce and he's having an affair. That's the first time that he ever admits to Shanann that there is another woman in the picture, is moments after she got home. And she's like, I knew something, I knew there was somebody else. And she's like, never gonna see a kid again, never gonna see them again. Get off me. Don't hurt me again. That's when Chris gets on top of his pregnant wife and starts to strangle her. Strangulation is a very personal form of murdering somebody. Chris says Shanann didn't say anything. He claims she didn't fight back. Why do you think she wasn't fighting? I don't know. Was, uh, maybe she was praying for the scripture that says, don't uh, uh, forgive these people for they do not know what they do. Um, maybe she was saying that. I don't know what she was saying in her head. Did I know I was going to do that before I got on top of her? It's kind of like I just saw my life. Just disappearing before my eyes, but it just like I couldn't let go. It was like somebody else, like like if you picture somebody else around you, holding your hands, holding you, keep you, not not letting go. And when she was gone, I was just like I, I didn't know what what was going on. I was like, no shaking. I didn't know what happened. Shortly after he killed Shanann, he was pulling her off the bed with a bed sheet. And that's when his oldest daughter, Bella, walked in the room and saw what was going on. What she said. He wrapped up Shanann's body. He took her downstairs to the garage. Tempted to, tempted to pick her up and take her down, but lost his grip after a little while. Just had to pull. Did Bella see you do that? What was Bella saying? She started uh, crying a little bit. She said, what's wrong, mommy? And what'd you say that time? She's a smart girl. She didn't know what was going on there. Bella watched him as he dragged his wife's body down the staircase to his truck. He loads Shanann's body into the back of his truck, and then his two daughters alive. And honestly, like I try to picture that that whole ride, like it's like 45 minutes to an hour ride out there, and it's just like, couldn't I have like saved my girl's life? Couldn't I have done something? Why did I do that? I don't know. All right. Like, this is my flesh and blood. This is like what I wanted all my life was to be a dad, just to have, you know, kids and they love me. They, you know, all that. And it just nothing, nothing made sense. 
he admits to taking them out to Zervi 319. He proceeded to dig a shallow grave for Shanann and cover her back up. He then returns to his vehicle with his two daughters, and then he grabs, he grabs Cece's favorite blanket and smothers her. Is that the same thing that happened to me, Cece? Bella was fully aware of what just happened. I don't know if I just said yes, like a horrible person, or if I just put, this, put that blanket over her too and did the same thing. It's like every time I closed my eyes, I started to see her saying, Daddy, no, and that was it. I hear that every day. She fought for her life. Then he took the children one at a time and he put them into the oil tanks. Those are my kids. This is my baby. I have to talk to them every night. I don't see how it's gonna happen. Okay. Every time I see pictures, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Being a dad was the best part of my life. I took it all away. The details were so intricate and involved so much reality in them that I don't think he could make that up. Because Chris first blamed Shanann for these murders, there are people who still think that he's sitting in prison as an innocent man. Dad, I mean, I never, I never thought I'd be in prison the rest of my life. But like I, like I didn't want them, like you know, anybody had to trash her memory. Like I wanted like them to know like she was, you know, she's a loving wife, she's beautiful. She always helped everybody else, all her friends, her really just friends, everybody. I just wanted, I, I, didn't, just, I didn't want anybody to take away from what she did. And I can't imagine a more beautiful, most amazing person for that to happen to. I really believe that she did think she had the perfect life and she really was happy. You go through the denial and you go through the why and the how and the, like not, nothing makes sense. How do you have closure when you don't understand it. We really need to get better as a society about honing our relational skills and learning how to deal with conflict, to deal with stress, to not brush problems under the rug where they get so big and so overwhelming that you can't come back from them. I did go to the funeral and it was very hard. I wasn't expecting it to hit me like it did when they brought out three caskets and I couldn't believe it had happened. You're not supposed to bury your children and certainly not your grandchildren. I believe the Watts family as well as the Rusek family are not together mourning, but they're certainly mourning equally. Everybody buried their issues with one another. It's going to be incredibly difficult for the Ruzek family and the Watts family to fully heal from this or move on from it. Ronnie and Cindy Watts, they were not ready for the impact that it was going to have upon them. This feels like it just happened every day. And I do think that we're all five seconds away from choices that are going to lead us down the path to make us or break us. Chris Watts was your all-American dad with everything any man would ever want. Now he's sitting in a cell, convicted of the murders of everything he once loved. Shanann was buried as Shanann Rusak. They're all together finally in North Carolina. There's a lot of trauma that went through this case. There's a lot of tears that were shed. This case is a good example of how the process is designed to heal. But in order for that opportunity to exist, you have to respect the process. As far as Shanann's family, I just hope they, they're able to focus on the time that they did have. Shanahan was such an empathetic person. I think we could change the world with people like Shanahan if we were willing to learn from her legacy. The small town of Frederick, Colorado wants to remember Shanahan, Bella, and Cece, and baby Nico, while also trying to make sure that this town can heal from the wounds.